In addition to adding background music to your movie, it's also possible to attach sound effects as audio tracks to individual clips. Click the Audio Browser button in the toolbar. It's the button with music notes. The Audio Browser gives you immediate access to iTunes, GarageBand, and the iLive sound effects and iMovie sound effects folders. In this example, I'll expand the iLive sound effects folder. In the search field at the bottom of the Audio Browser window, I'll type clock. Four clock sound effects were found. I'll click on Clock Windup and drag it to my project, dropping it on and within the clip where I want the sound effect to be heard. This particular soundtrack, Clock Windup, is longer than what I need. To shorten this audio track, I'll place my mouse at the end of the audio track where the cursor turns to a resize bar. When the resize bar is visible, I'll click the end of the audio track and drag to the left until it is at the desired length. Once the audio track is shortened, it can be moved by clicking and dragging the hand so it starts at the exact frame you desire. To make audio adjustments to the audio track, first click on its small action menu pop-up in the left corner, then click audio adjustments. Since I currently have both a background and a sound effect playing at the same time, I can check ducking, which will reduce the volume of other tracks for the duration of the sound effect. 